Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday. That uh, means it's time for table talk. Yeah, uh, man, we've got a lot more room just, on the sofa just a little this morning, bit. Yeah, right? uh, Catherine is out on vacation, and and uh, we hope she's really enjoying herself. I uh, uh, hope she is. Yeah, yeah, we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we are enjoying. Yeah, we're ourselves. We're still enjoying yeah. ourselves. Yeah. You, know, you look a little different this morning. Thanks, bro. You get a haircut or something? Yeah, uh, well, I, my my uh, my glasses have come in, and now I officially have to wear these all the time. So welcome. It it just is what it is, but it it's fine. They it's look fine. good. They Thanks, they really man. do look good. Thanks. So well, uh, guys, listen. Uh, this morning's table talk session, I kind of threw it to Franklin for the mm-hmm. idea of our topic. And so, Franklin, why don't you kind of tell us what we're going to be talking about this morning, and we'll jump right in. Yeah. And so, uh, I, I really want to talk about. Uh, well, something you touched on Sunday was holy places, right? Mm-hmm. And that kind of stuck yeah. with me. How you're like, you know, you don't really think about how. Moses and Elijah, when they would pass through the places where they really encountered God, right? Yeah. Uh, they weren't just passing. They were like, Meh, you know, yeah. but they remember. They're like, man, I met God there, right? And like, like in crazy ways. And so that stuck with me. And so I really wanted to talk about um, what are some of the holy places, right, where we yeah. encounter God, right? Cool. And what, what are some of those places for us? What does that look like? Yeah. Big, small, yeah. whatever. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. Okay. So, you, yeah. Want, you want me to jump in? Yeah, right. go for it. All right. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to give you guys three. All right. Oh. So, uh, one, I know it sounds weird because it, it's the pastor, uh, but the sanctuary, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, man, and, and, uh, and as much as, I, I mean, when we gather together and, and we're all in church and we're worshiping God, those moments, absolutely. Um, but really, for me, uh, I think more of the private moments when, yeah. when nobody's here, nobody's in the building, uh, slipping into the sanctuary just to kind of bow. And, and just to pray. Mm. And uh, I've had some really, really just meaningful times right there on, on kind of the altar here at our church. And so uh, that's, that's one of my places, right? Yeah. Um, the second would be, um, I know it sounds, again, strange, uh, but my office. Mm. And, uh, and and so God is, is so faithful, and, and he, he just always shows up. Yeah. And so I try to make it a point um, before I, I would write any message just to sit down and to pray and say, Lord, mm-hmm. you know, would you meet me? You know, I, I pray for wisdom. I pray you get rid of all of me and, and just replace it with you. And God is is always so faithful in showing up and, and providing a word and those kind of things. Um, but even kind of kind of beyond those moments, which, again, man, I, I'm so grateful for. I, I, I mean, literally, my, my, my life, my livelihood, all, all that is because God shows up in those yeah. moments. Um, but there is a, a place that sometimes... Uh, you guys may try to come into the office and you, you peek in and you don't. You're like, man, Jason's not here, and uh, and I, I have a tendency at times that I, when I really want to meet with the Lord and I just I feel the need to pray that I'll just get under my desk hmm. and uh, like kind of under my desk and and maybe sometimes some worship music going on, but but just kind of a place to get down and get low and and maybe even you know a lot of times my my face is on the ground and yeah. it's just this opportunity. It's this place that I feel like. I can meet with the Lord. It's kind of like my prayer closet. Yeah, or like so, a tent of meeting. Yeah, 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 just just like like a place. Yeah. So, um, hmm. you know, so so there's there's those two, and and for for me, as far as places, I think those are those are big ones. And then uh, moments was hmm. was going to be my third. And uh, man, there is something for me about the sunrise. Yeah, and, yeah. And so even today is because we're you know we're staying the holiness of God and and uh, how God is set apart and, and above everything. I was driving the kids into school this morning. And just as the sun, you know, early in the morning is coming up and that, that beautiful kind of red glow that you Dang. can, you know, and it's so early on, you can kind of look at it without going blind right. for a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, and so when it just that beauty and kind of that majesty of that, that kind of pink red hue. Mm. And I just said to the kids this morning, I said, do you guys ever just see that? Yeah. And, and just, are, are you ever just in awe of a God that is all knowing and all powerful and somehow like, like in his brilliant design, formed this gaseous ball of mm. fire that yeah. that our our universe would revolve around mm. and, and and everything spinning rightly so that we might like does that ever just catch you off guard in the morning awesome. and so um that that really is one of my things in the morning when i see that sun come up i just have these moments i just I can be having a, a, a not great morning. I can, I can not have enough coffee in me. 
I can uh, I can have just yelled at my children to get in the car. Uh, all all those like I, I mean we could have had all those things happen. Yeah. And then we begin that drive and, and when that sun comes up I'm just remi- I'm I just it's just an awe moment for mm. me on a regular basis. So anyway that, that's some of mine. Heck some yeah. of my, some of those those times I, I feel like I, I see the Lord. I love it. Yeah. What about you, it. brother? Man, uh, for me so as far as places are concerned, one of the first places that comes to my mind uh, is my truck. And so it's that's kind of my. See, so I was have, gonna I was gonna say shower, but I thought that might be a little TMI. Well, that's um. that's actually gonna be my second <laughs> point. But but first place would be my truck for sure. That's kind of you know you have you know underneath your desk. That's kind of like your own little mm-hmm. private spot. For me, it's my truck. So anytime like I'm hopping in the truck, especially if it's a road trip, mm-hmm. and like you know, or if I'm just going, even even sometimes going to the grocery store. Even I find myself I'm just talking out loud to God. And I'm like, hey, God, like, you know, and I'll tell, you know, if it's a good day, I'm like, I'm like, thank you for this awesome day. If it's a bad day, I'm kind of processing it with him. Mm. And that's kind of a very intimate place uh, that I just, I just, I get to talk to him, yeah. you know, and because no one, no one else can hear me. No one else is around. So it's a very private place. Um, and the second place was actually going to be my shower. Uh, and I've been, I, but I've been like that since yeah. probably junior high was really a place where I would just pray and process with God. And there's yeah. something therapeutic about the water. Uh, uh, dude, I, I, I know it sounds terrible because oh, like, I won't let my kids do it. But I, I take my phone into the bathroom uh, because I've had so many moments in the shower when the Lord gives me something, I gotta write that. Down. No, I, I mean, I mean, it's like it's like, oh, that's the point I was looking no for. Way. And so, like, I've literally and and thank thank God for you know Siri now at this point that you you're not trying to wet type you know wet text uh, that you can just go hey Siri write this down take a note and that is uh, amazing dude it happens so often and so uh, yeah but I didn't want to bring it up as yeah well. no it's little, that's good much. yeah it's a little much just don't think about it too much but that is a great place to encounter God uh, and speaking of water. Yeah. Uh, I would I would certainly say another place, especially just when I have the opportunity to do this. Uh, often it's when I'm on vacation with my family, and I'm I'm we usually go to the beach in Alabama, like yeah. Orange Beach. Yeah. Uh, and in the water, just the waves, mm. like that is a place where I just I yeah. see and I experience just the power and the love yeah. and just the might and the creativity and and honestly the the infinite just nature of the power. Yeah, and yeah. just like, man, like it's it's peaceful, but it's also chaotic at the same time. And it's like this weird combination of like, yeah, it's oh, it's so cool. Um, so those are places I'd certainly say uh, moments. Honestly, there there are moments even in my like thirty second walk to work, uh, like in the morning, first thing in the morning, like I'm thinking, and it's just like I'm looking at the trees, I'm hearing the birds, yeah. Uh, and it's just it's or sometimes like that that gush of wind will hit me, yeah. And I'm like, man, that mm. feels yeah. awesome. Uh, unexpected conversations around here, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, like we're, we're, somebody just pops in, and all of a sudden we have this hugely deep, right? Conversation. Yeah. Like, oh, oh you have these like oh god moments around, and so, um, but guys, that th- those are some of mm-hmm. our moments. Those are those are our places, our holy places. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Yeah. And so, um, you know, if you're on social media and you're, you're watching this, man, would you drop a comment in the section below and let us know what are, what are some of the holy places that you see God, that you meet God? Uh, we'd love to hear from you this week, guys. We love you, uh, man. Uh, we, we hope that uh, this has spoken to you. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we pray uh, that we, we get to see you again soon. God bless. See y'all. Well, hey guys. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, this morning, um, I, I kind of want to talk about uh, Franklin. What he's really trying to say is he wants me to lead. That's what I'm. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. How about this? I'll open and then I'll there throw it to I like you. It.